lecture i'm going to discuss about how to fetch all employees who are not working on any project so here we have for uh, two or tables is there now you can see this is the employee id and here also employee id so this table does not have any project here project name is there so i will to display the project name okay so project name that is not assigned with any employees so here you can see this is here null null and here employee id 9 helen and jack has no or project assigned so i will display with the query so let's see so first here writing select a statement then uh, selecting here ename first ename then is null function is null function and there we need to give the project name so giving here project name after that here if is null then uh, this place you can write any meaningful so just giving here null and alias is now project then after this come from so this come from employee table okay employee after that let's give here employee alias a so if i give here a then let's give here a dot employee a now then after performing inner join inner join that return only matching value matching value inner join with here project b so here you can see next table is now project here employee next is now project So let's write here project and this place giving B. Then after the next is here let's give a condition on giving a employee ID. So here you can see this is a employee ID and uh, next project table b is there so b dot employee id so both employee id must be same now if i run this query then you can see here employee okay let's select this all selecting this all now let's run so here you can see or uh, this here you can see ename Ename and uh, here ename. This is employee name and Sam has coding. Martin has, but here you can see Helen and Jack has so uh, null and null. So null null value it's displaying that means so uh, here this project is not assigned. Okay, now let's uh, do one thing. So here I wanna this make this in the top so for this one let's write here order by and here giving project so this here project now you can see project both are the same name so giving this one is now project alias one is the project so giving here this one is project after that now or oh, let's uh, run this so here you can see null that come first or if you want this place here you can write the meaningful no passes no project assign so now if you run this query then here you can see no project that assign but here order by n that's come lost so that it's there is a problem so with the help of this you can see here no project assigned is there that's our display in space or if you want or simple as here you can give null so with uh, the help of null 
you can here yeah, get now and this is now here the color this is color that change here so this uh, easily indicate that here Helen and Jack or uh, that are not working in any project so this is how we can fetch all the employees who are not working in any project so this two table that I'm using and uh, here you can see employee employee here is the table a or this place and that's that given of the employee after that a e name and project name and here the, uh, this is now alias of this all till this one we can write here project one so that if you run this girl project one that's displaying after that a employee id employee id both table has so with when that match then uh, we can here check if employee so now you can see here 19 is also there so 9 Helen Jack and here 19 is there so uh, here you can see project name there is no any project name so when I execute this query then you can get here employee Helen and uh, here both are null so that means it's not assigned with any project so this is how we can uh, fetch all employees who are not working on any project so now in this uh, video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you